What's up crypto fam? Welcome back to another R Bitcoin. As always, links will be in the description. And if you do enjoy this content, we upload four or five videos a week, so consider subscribing. I'm Bitcoin Jaco9, and with that, let's go ahead and jump right into it. Number 10, we got a Bitcoin explosion. El Salvador now has more digital wallets than traditional bank accounts. Interesting. Very interesting. Cryptosauce.news. Number nine. My buddy was traveling El Salvador, so I sent him some Bitcoin to spend into their Bitcoin economy. Today, the mailman delivered me a pack of coffee from El Salvador, and my buddy sent me this picture. And it says, uh, for Tucker, I guess that's the friend that gave him the Bitcoin. And then that was the day. One bag of specialty coffee from uh, Atosi, El Salvador. And that's the amount of Bitcoin it was. Wow. What is that, like 12 tw like $15 then, maybe? I don't know. Interesting. Number eight, Ultimate... 90 second pitch for Bitcoin on Fox News. What do we got here? All my sound levels checking out, looks like it. All right, 90 seconds. Not only so it's a little could Bitcoin longer, be the but way to okay. generate and spread wealth and opportunities around the world. Yes, Can I get this louder? Yes, this is why I'm so passionate about Bitcoin, you know. We are addicted to the money printer in this country. And I think a nation that lives by the money printer runs the risk of dying by it as well. I mean, we used to be the Agreed. world's biggest creditor nation. We made stuff. Now we're the world's biggest debtor nation. We hardly make anything except also debt. Agreed. And so everything is distorted, Charles. I mean, up is down. Inflation is good. Our economy is no, like an not. airplane flying <laughs> without an altimeter because we have no price signals based on real interest rates. And we haven't for a long time. Instead, we have a system where insiders print money and they yep. benefit. They create yep. disproportionate access to capital with yep. low interest rates. And that mm -hmm. capital goes where? Into stocks of companies that have no real growth. They yep. just use easy government money to finance debt and buy exactly. back shares and create synthetic growth in these market bubbles. They buy up real estate and turn the country into renters. Yep. And then inflation sucks the life out of workers and savers and it benefits the asset holders. So all of a sudden we have this ballooning right. wealth inequality and politicians who contributed to the problem who have no clue about basic economics saying, hey, I'll come fix it by spending and handing out more easy money. Or, I mean, or, it's like the government cripples you and then hands you a crutch and says, aren't you happy I was here to hand you this crutch, right? Yeah. That's why Bitcoin is so great. You can't print more of it. It's programmatically yep. scarce hard money. And mm -hmm. as my friend Preston Pish said very well today, Bitcoin literally feasts on corruption and manipulation, and boy, is the plate full, Charles. You know, the story... Man, that, uh, was, that was great. If anybody wants to finish watching that video, links are in the description. Number seven, Andreas Antonopoulos, appreciation post. Okay. This man has been educating people with real-life speeches and books on Bitcoin since 2013, and he's still going. Absolute unit. Yeah, he really is, though. Um, he's a really good speaker, too. Uh, I don't know if anybody watching has gotten a chance to actually listen to any of his talks. I do highly recommend it. Uh, he's very knowledgeable on a lot of aspects. I think he's actually a code maintainer, also. But, uh, yeah. Number six, Bitcoin Summer. Oh, it's a, a, another meme video or something. Let's see what we got. We got fiat system, media FUD, panic sellers. Bitcoin is dead, farewell. Bitcoin newbies, panic sellers. Fiat system. Thirty K walls. Alright. How long is this? Oh, that's two minutes. Bitcoin newbies. Summer holders.
Bitcoin ETF? I don't know. Oh, okay, okay, I get it. Bitcoin addresses, okay. Panic sellers, panic buyers, laser eyes, fiat system. Okay, inflation. even need the memes honestly bitcoin's going to a million without the memes number five confused stonks what do we got up 4700 percent on my bitcoin investment own 0.08 no it's okay buddy we all know how that feels it's okay number uh four elon musk hates cash has he now has billions of dollars sitting in cash for the first time in his life. What do you suppose he's going to do with it? Musk is selling 10% of his Tesla stake, valued at roughly $25 billion, a chunk that will be used to pay off taxes as he executes options from his executive comp package. But that would still leave him with enough to become the world's biggest known holder of Bitcoin if he so chooses. That could be really interesting. That would be nuts. Number three, therapist. Are the unrealized capital gains in the room with us now, Janet? Yeah, that's that whole thing. They they need. I think they're talking about um that right now, actually, an issue because uh they've already passed it, but like. I don't know, it's just nuts. Number two, would it even be worth it to invest, say, like, $100 in Bitcoin and let it set for a long time? I don't invest, but obviously Bitcoin is just continuing to grow. What's the move? Edit, all right, all right, you've convinced me. What should I use, Robinhood or Cash App? Cash App, for sure. Um, Not Robinhood. Robinhood is trash. So... Interesting. Number one, me trying to sell my 2010 self to buy Bitcoin. <laughs> oh, trying to tell... Okay, what do we got? <laughs> oh, yeah. No! 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 <laughs> yep, <laughs> right. Man... Wish I would have knew about Bitcoin back in the day, cause like it, it was like it, it would have lined up perfectly. Like it could have. Oh well. Oh well. Anyway, that's it for the R Bitcoin top ten past twenty four hours. As always, everything is down below. I'm Bitcoin Jacob Nine. Peace, love, and hodl.